Hey everybody, welcome back to Creole Kisses Diary TV. Coming back at you guys with some more celebrity news. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about Black China. Uh, she was ordered to pay her former landlord $58,000, you guys. That's a lot of money to be playing a landlord. Uh, it looks like Black China's legal battle with her former landlord may be coming to an end. Uh, it looks like she was not awarded seventy thousand dollars that she was hoping for uh she claimed that the landlord by the name of michael kramerman he owed her more than 20k from her security deposit yet asked for fifty thousand dollars which is twice the original amount of her twenty five thousand dollar deposit Man, this is rich folk talk. I mean, $25,000 deposit, that's a lot of money, okay? But I guess if you're Black China and you got the cash flow that she got, you, you can handle that. Anyway, so Kramerman sued China, alleging that she skipped out on her lease five months early and failed to pay her rent. Yes, he claimed that China owed $55,546 for that missing rent, but he subtracted her 25K deposit from that total. And then he added 18,000 in damages. So the judge reduced that amount, but it didn't change the fact that he denied China the right to have her day in court against her former landlord. The judge denied China's claim that she used that money to pay for food, clothing, and shelter for her kids. So it looks like China got a lot going on right now. She got to pay this money. Uh, she was expecting to get some. I know she's been hustling according to her Instagram. Uh, she's got her OnlyFans going on. She just released a new single and it's called Seen Her. And uh, if you haven't heard it, you can check it out on World Star or you can check it out. I believe it's on YouTube now. I know for a while she wouldn't premiere the video until she received at least 500,000 followers it wasn't happening as fast as she wanted it to so she went ahead and released it and the song doesn't sound too bad y'all go check that out well it looks like Dr. Dre Mr. Aftermath himself is going to be free and back on the market ladies his uh, wife of 24 years, Nicole Young, has decided to file for divorce due to irreconcilable differences. Um, they both share two children together. They have a boy and a girl, both adults. And Nicole has decided to move on after many years of marriage. I mean, what could it be? You guys think they started getting on each other's nerves during this quarantine. I know it's been pretty hard for some couples. This COVID-19 situation has caused a lot of drama, you guys, and people's relationships. But anyway, uh, she has decided to divorce Dr. Dre, and we're sorry to hear that. Uh, they did not have a prenuptial agreement. Therefore, she is entitled to spousal support, and she is seeking that spousal support. Uh, it has been reported that she could inherit 60% of his fortune. Yes, uh, I believe he is worth $800 million, and she could potentially get $480 million, leaving him with $320 million. Hey, I hear a million and I don't care if it's 10 million, it's a lot. So the reason why she qualifies for 60% of his fortune is because Dr. Dre is capable of making tens of millions of dollars a year. And Nicole is not, although she is an attorney. So she's fighting for that money. She wants her spousal support and she will most likely get it. So, wish them the best in their future endeavors. So next we have Fabulous and Tamia. Uh, Fabulous recently did a versus battle with Jada Kiss over the weekend, and there was a part of the verses where uh, Fabulous was getting ready to perform his song "So Into You," and Tamia is the original uh, artist 
that came out with that song. And Fabulous wanted to explain why Ashanti was on the song, yet Tamia ended up being in the video. Okay, so his explanation was that, you know what, why don't I go ahead and play it for y'all, okay, and I'll be right back. Tamia is who the original song came from. Tamia was getting um, surgery okay. on her throat at the time today. when we did the video and all that. No, no, when we did the song. Oh, okay. So we got Ashanti to do the song because she was getting, and then while when we did the video, she was back. She was back. <laughs> she got together, and See, Ashanti was running all around because Ashanti shit. was scorching. We came back with Tamia, and she relayed the vocals after her throat surgery, and we made, so that's why it's two versions. The there's the Mia version, no and then there's a Shanti version. So y'all heard Fabulous. He said that Tamia had throat surgery, but Tamia jumped back on Instagram after she heard this, and she said Fabulous is lying, okay? She said that she ain't never had throat surgery. She had 25, she's been in the business 25 years, had eight albums, and zero throat surgeries. So, Fabulous, why are you up here lying? Just tell the truth. Y'all wanted Ashanti because she was hot back then. Not saying Tamia was not, but Ashanti was hot. She was running hot. She everybody wanted her on their features. She she was she was banging back then around that time. So just admit that. I guess he didn't want to hurt Tamia's feelings. And it looks like he don't care what she thinks because she would know that he's lying. So why would he even let that come out his mouth? Real crazy and weird, you guys. Anyway, so he hasn't responded about that yet. But that I just thought that was crazy. But the verses was cool. Him and Mace, they were lit. He was high and Mace was drunk, okay? If y'all ain't seen it, go on verses on Instagram and check it out. It was pretty funny. Anyway, the BET Awards aired this past Sunday, and the BET Awards uh, were virtual due to the world circumstances right now, and it was good. Amanda still hosted, and the show was, it turned out to be good. The show started out with Public Enemy with a couple of uh, featured rappers, and they rapped about Fight the Power. It was good. Then Roddy Rich started it off. I love Roddy Rich, so he did a great job. Um, some of my favorites were uh, Megan Thee Stallion. She did her thing. Also, uh, Chloe and Haley. I love Chloe and Haley. They their mentor is Beyonce, and it's obvious. Um, those girls are awesome. I really enjoyed them. Their album actually get their album. The album is worth the buy. Okay. Um, and what else? There were a couple of other artists that did good. Um, D Smoke 7, he was good. And a few others. If you have not seen it, I don't know if you can rewatch it on BET. It actually aired on CBS for free, which I thought was great. They should do that every year because everyone does not have cable. So that was uh, a great thing. There were uh, a lot of winners. Beyonce's daughter won. Uh, Blue Ivy won her first BET award. I believe she's the youngest to ever to receive one. And uh, Beyonce received the humanitarian award. Well deserved. Congratulations to her. Uh, there were some others that got awards. Tiana Taylor won. Uh, Lizzo. Megan won, of course. Um, who else? Chris Brown, Drake, Migos. And a few others, you guys. Congratulations to all the winners. I really, really enjoyed the show. And that's basically it, you guys. Uh, I'm sure it'll be some more drama, some more craziness, some more tea out there that I could share with you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm hungry. I'm about to go eat. So I will talk to y'all later. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a good evening. Love y'all. Bye. Yeah, man, you already know what it is. All money and no money out. Cleo Kisses, man. Shout out to Cleo Kisses. Diary. Yeah, yeah, yeah.